Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of the Galaxy S2 review for Virgin Mobile. Um, so first of all, if you have not watched part 1, you should probably go do that. It has a bunch of the basics and the beginning of the review, basically. Um, so continuing from part 1, we are going to start looking at the camera. So on this phone, there is no dedicated camera button, so you do need to go into the phone to get the camera. So, once you get the camera open, it automatically asks you long video, video mail, or um, self-recording. So that'll just switch it around for you. So, click long video if you want to make a video that you're not sending in a picture mail or something. So, here we're in the camera. Um, and I see that is the video camera. I had it on video camera and I started talking about camera. So, here's the camera. And the camera is a... Um, what is it? 8 megapixel camera, and there is an LED flash on the back. Um, so for the 8 megapixel camera, it took pretty decent pictures, um, and it does have... Yeah, we'll take a peek at some pictures I took here. Alright, here we go. Um, <laughs> it's not a very great picture to show. Let's see, find a good one here. Um, here is a platter of pancakes, and I'm not sure if you can tell on the screen, but even when you zoom in, it really does not deteriorate, deteriorate the quality very much, um, which is nice. Um, I'm really impressed actually with the camera's um, picture quality overall, and again, get some great colors in here. Um, this camera won't do you very good justice that I'm filming with, but on the phone, the colors look excellent with the um, the uh, the screen that it has, the Super AMOLED Plus screen. So really, I was very happy with the photo quality on this phone, and it seems to handle the gallery app very well as well. Um, now, let's uh, also actually, there is a front-facing camera. I guess I don't really want to be in it right now, but I did find the front-facing camera to be a little bit jumpy for some reason. Uh, not sure why that is, but that is the case. Um, and again, there are also effects you can do here in the main camera. Smile shot, where it'll take it when you smile. Um, yep, panorama, all that fun stuff. So, let's switch over to the video camera. Um, and now, for the video camera, it asks you this. We're going to click long video. Um, you can have the flash on or off during video. I'm not sure if you can change it while in a video. No, you cannot. Alright. Um, so, oops. So, flash on or off, you get to choose at the beginning of the video. And then for the resolution, it comes standard on 720p, but it can take 1080p um, HD video, so very good. Uh, quality was excellent. Voice quality over the video was also very excellent. Um, and again, you cannot, same with the Nexus 4, which I just reviewed, you cannot actually, um, okay, zooming not supported while recording in full HD, something to note. Um, you can't actually tap to focus when you're taking a video, so say you're taking a video, and let's bring something out here. Got this. Say we want to, it feels like it's zoomed in on the video for some reason, but it's really not. See what I mean? I, at least I don't think it is. Alright, so, he was doing that earlier too. So anyways, we're doing 1080p right now, and you cannot, jeez, look at that. Uh, you cannot tap to focus. So if I tap the table, it is still focused on the ACT thing. If I tap over here in the pencil sharpener in the corner, it's still focused over here. So that is disappointing that you can't do that, but so be it, I guess. And... So that is the video camera, and of course you can also take video with the front-facing camera right here, self-recording, and that does not appear to be very jumpy on that part. Alright. Alrighty. So that is the video camera, and you can do video chats over Skype and stuff with this as well. So, enough with the camera. Let's go into games. Um, the game I downloaded for testing was Angry Birds Star Wars, because I heard that I should play it. 
So, here I am. I played it for a little bit. Um. <laughs> Alright. So. Yes, yes, yes. We don't need to go through all this. But the game seems to load fairly quickly. And, um. Alright, that's distracting. The speaker. Here's what it sounds like. Sounds like a pretty full sound there. Um, not super clear, but that might just be the game quality they have it on here. Um, screen again in this game looks excellent. Blacks are very black because the screen is actually off in um, where the pixels are black. The screen is completely shut off. So that also saves battery. But also with the Super AMOLED Plus screen, colors are just brilliant on here. You really have to see it to believe it and see what I'm seeing. But again, I found no lag when playing the game. Oops. Nope, not what I want. Nope. There we go. Um, yep, I did not have any lag, and again, pinch to zoom in the game is fine. So let's do this. Did not really try to do that well there, but wow, I got it by chance. So again, graphics are great, and um, it does use the full screen, unlike all phones. So that is that. Again, there's no lag, and the game works just fine. So that is games. I'm not too much of a gamer, so I really don't get that many games. Um, Alright, now let's do a quadrant test here. Quadrant. Um, let's see. Should have brought it out to the desktop. There it is. Or the home screen. Let's run a full benchmark here. Alrighty, there you go, and um, you probably can't see, but right there it looks like the screen is off. The screen is not off, but the part of the screen that you're seeing is off because there's only black colors being used there. Alright, so if you haven't heard already, um, Virgin Mobile, even after over three hours of me being on the phone with them, with different representatives, um, was unable to activate my Galaxy S2. So I was never able to actually do speed tests or test a call um, or even use t the text messaging app, though I was able to text using my Text Plus app. So that being said, just take that uh, into account when you're listening to this review. Virgin Mobile has had issues with my account in the past, and I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, fully paid. Everything's good, and they just don't know what's going on. Um, I don't believe it's the phone's fault. I believe it's something to do with my account, or I don't know. But their customer care is not very helpful. And so now, oh, that's done already. But um, as for the call quality, the uh, call quality, I did try making a call um, with Voice over IP on my Text Plus app, but I think due to that, uh, those servers they used and all that. It did not sound very clear, and on the other end it didn't sound very clear either, but again, I really don't think that will monitor actual voice um, voice results you will get because that was with my Text Plus app over a really slow Wi-Fi connection. So, again, I did not get to do speed tests either because of that. So let's look at our quadrant scores that we've got. Alright, so we've got your device there at 3400 exact and it is third in the list under well under the HTC One X um, but again you really don't get many phones in this list so this is a pretty good score for the phone for a phone that is over a year old um, when it first came out as the Epic Touch 4G on Sprint last year so again 3400 dollar or 3400 um, is the score which is pretty good for a prepaid phone for $300, 370 if you miss the deals. Alright, so that is Quadrant, and again, I would love to do speed tests for you, but I didn't even download the app because, again, Virgin Mobile never was able to activate my account, so I was unable to do speed tests. I never even got the little 3G or... Um, 1x symbol to come up to activate it so not sure what the deal is there but if you would like to see some speed tests um, please 
by all means check out my Evo 4G or Evo 3D 4G review and uh, in part two of that I should have some 4G speed tests um, not actually on 4G but some results so check that out again their network hasn't really changed much since then so uh, there's that to look at otherwise other people's reviews um, I'm really sorry I couldn't get to that but again Virgin Mobile's fault um, so in conclusion this phone uh, is great for Virgin Mobile. It is, as of now, when it came out, um, the best phone, uh, arguably, beside the iPhone 4S on Virgin Mobile. So that's great. And $300, again, it pays back compared to spending 200 on the phone uh, from another carrier and then spending a lot more every month for service. So I did. I do wish I had more time with this phone, and I wish the network worked. I was excited to try out some more 4G, and I always love doing my speed tests. But in general, this phone, it's a great size, I think, and it's great. It's got a great feel to it, even though it's not super quality feel. Um, not because there's not a glass back or anything like the iPhone or the new Nexus. Um, so it, it does feel kind of plastically and plasticky and light but and not that premium but I really do like how it feels um, so that's nice and it does fit right in your hand um, and also per for performance uh, it performed excellent games will run fine on this thing day-to-day -day stuff will run fine and for a two-year or a over one-year-old phone um, that's really got some great performance in it um, also it has 4g and some good specs for Virgin Mobile um, though it's something to consider, uh, this uh, the Evo 3D 4G, confusing name, uh, is half the price right now at least, and it offers many of the same features such as 4G and a dual core processor, though not as powerful of a dual core processor. Um, it offers a 4.3 inch versus 4.5 inch screen, so it's um, second biggest on Virgin Mobile. And so if you are on a budget um, of less than $300 or $370, then check out the Evo V, or the, not, not the Evo V, the Evo 4G, which is an excellent phone uh, as well. So keep that all in mind when you make your next choice. Thanks for watching. And um, also please uh, follow me on Twitter at funzier one like the fa page on Facebook for photo samples from this camera, video sample, all that stuff. Um, also, uh, photo samples from the Galaxy S2. And uh, you'll get notifications on new reviews and such that come out and all that. And that's facebook.com slash funzier1. Also, you can text me with questions to the number below. And please subscribe. It helps a lot. So thanks for watching.